world is full of opportunity and possibility. Once you find inside of you that dream, that, that burning desire to be somebody, to do something, to create things that never existed, to invent things that no one ever imagined possible, then you're on the path to doing something great or small, but you'll do something meaningful. Milton Little is a quiet force for good. Uh, he's always got a smile on his face. He's got a, 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 a driving optimism and confidence uh, that it takes to raise money to help others. Milton I met um, in New York City. His barber was my hairdresser. I met Milt and heard about Milt when he was at AT&T. When I first met Milton, uh, after we, he was hired, I was immediately impressed. It was just this, this elegance, and there was this presence, and I said, you know, that's someone who I need to get to know and look up to. I don't remember the details of the conversation, but I do remember the overwhelming impression of his commitment to service. And I just knew that I was going to have a treasured colleague in Milton. The most fun thing to me is describing Milt Little. But Milton's got to be one of the snazziest dressers I have ever seen. I would say that Milton is a gentle giant. I always say he's like the, the, you know, the papa bear. Not in size necessarily, from a giant standpoint, but in intellect and in presence. But the interior Milt is the part that I love to describe. Take a heart that's full of care and compassion and wrap it in strategic and analytical thinking and then polish it off with smooth and articulate executive presence. That's Milton Little. Well, Milton's impact on the United Way has been really significant. Uh, when you look at how he has steered the organization in new directions, uh, he has boldly moved the organization uh, where it never has gone before. Everyone has a different idea of what the community needs. And so Milton has to, in his leadership, actually guide and provide information that helps that thinking and helps refine uh, the plans for how we can move forward as a, as a community to help those that need help. He is, he's a genuinely tender soul. He, he cares about people. He feels that everyone should be able to live the life of their dreams. And creating that, you know, that uh, playing field that makes things fair for everyone is what he has a passion for. He feels, he has empathy, and he feels people's pain. But at the same time, he doesn't let that stop him. He creates very concrete ways with United Way to make a difference in this community. I think Milton is the perfect choice to receive this award for all that he does. I can't think of anyone that more epitomizes the spirit of Alonzo Herndon than Milton Little. Uh, he's a man who is a true servant leader, uh, shares a lot of the values I think that Alonzo Herndon uh, lived as well in his time. But they both stood up, done something very unique, sometimes very difficult, but always what's best for others and the understanding of not just giving back, but just giving. The path um, forward is, uh, is filled with opportunity. Uh, and I have seen the lives of so many people who have been connected to things that I've been able to do changed and changed for the better. Uh, and I've seen that throughout my career and so I know what's possible. And I know what's inside the human spirit. And that combination of experience and the power that drives people when driven by a purpose is what keeps me going. Milton, I'd just like to give you a very warm and hearty Chick-fil-A salute from the Chick-fil-A family, from the Kathy family. Thank you for everything that you've done for the city of Atlanta. Eat more chicken. Uh, you have a wonderful legacy. And you continue to eat more chicken, it'll be even better, my friend. God bless you. To Milton Little, congratulations on this outstanding award from your friends at the Coca-Cola Company. Congratulations and a toast 
to you? Because he prefers, I think, to be called Milton, but I've just always called him Milt, so what can I say, you know? <laughs> He's just gonna have to live with the fact that I called him Milt in the film, okay? <laughs> what do you mean, lifetime achievement? He's not done yet. We need more of Milton.